the last of the steamers. There was good reason for excitement at Murrayfield. Could Scotland wrest the Calcutta Cup from the Sassanax at long last? Well, the English 15 were not only unchanged this season, but so far unbeaten too. Scotland weren't daunted by that. They were on home ground and out for victory. The match had barely started, however, when a series of terrific shocks jolted the Scots. In five minutes, Richard Sharp's magnificent drop goal from far out put England ahead. Bad enough from the Scottish point of view, but in the course of the next seven minutes, they found themselves eight points down after England had scored a try and converted it. It was all England, and Jim Roberts was soon flashing to the line for England's second try. Don Rutherford converted with a great kick. The match was only about 20 minutes old when Rutherford notched the 50-yard penalty. 16-0. Scotland, being Scotland, were still undismayed. Awarded a penalty, they opened their score with a fine kick by Ken Scotland. This was heartening for the home 15, who were far from beaten yet. Presently, Ken Scotland took another penalty, straight and very much to the point. 16-6 at half-time, what a match. Could the Scots do it yet? Soon, a third penalty came their way and their full-back did it again. Now it was England's turn in this terrific game. A sizzling run by Malcolm Phillips, a perfect pass to John Young and nothing can stop him. A steep angle for conversion, but Rutherford converts. 21-9 and clearly England's match. But the Scots never admit defeat, and a brilliant run down the left wing almost gets through. If not the left, then the right wing. Away goes Arthur Smith for a try. Result, 21-12 for England, together with the Calcutta Cup, the Triple Crown, and at least a share of the championship. Quite an afternoon. Thank you.